Well, my friends, to say that I'm not looking forward to today's episode is really rather understatement of the century. We have three more armor trims to try and collect in order to finish our armor trim collection. And my friends, the one we're going for today requires us to go into a bastion. I am, of course, talking about the snout armor trim. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play here, my friends. Only three more armor trims left for our collection. We're going for the snout one today. Arguably one of the more difficult ones to go for, especially when you don't have natural health regeneration on. This is going to be an interesting one. So if we're going to do this, we're going to do this well. And that involves being nicely prepared. We've got instant health potions. Maybe we should take our little mini regen kit with us as well, eh? The only other thing I've done since the last episode in preparation for this one is I've gone ahead and I've named and upgraded a whole bunch of my gear. We've got the super spoon, the axe of smoothness. We've got ourselves the flaming stick now. The knock draw loose bow has been upgraded greater to power five. Yeah. My friends, if you're excited for today's upcoming episode, please do be sure to drop a like beneath the video. I'd really appreciate it. And a massive thank you for all of you folks who have been dropping likes beneath the videos. I really do appreciate it, my friends. So here we are in the nether realms. <laughs> Oh, dude, we're actually going to go for the goal of exploring some bastions today. I am so nervous. We could easily die. Like, easily. So there we are. Our first bastion already. That really didn't take very long to find. I knew we had one sort of relatively nearby. But I couldn't for the life of me remember where the heck it was in relation to the portal. But uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Right. Do we try to go for the chests that are over there first? I mean, yeah, we need to explore pretty much every single chest. But any of you guys who don't know, the Snout Armor Trim has an 8.3% chance of generating in most of the Bastion treasure chests. So honestly, the more chests we can find, the better the chances we're going to have, let's be honest here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we need to take down the Brutes. Yes, that's right. These guys need to go bye-byes. Very much so. These guys are the ones I'm actually quite scared of. you got to go bye-byes as well there, son. There we have it. Right. Can we, by any chance, get up there without flying over? Because if I fly over, I'm definitely going to crash into it and just lose a bunch of health unnecessarily, right? I mean, maybe I could drop down in from the top or something instead. All these decisions I have to try and make, I have to be really careful. Ordinarily, I'd just fly over there and just grab the chest, but no. Guys, we could lose our health and not regen it very easily. Well, I mean, yeah, we can regen it easily, but we have a limited supply of being able to regen. All right, so here we are, my friendos. We are checking out our first chest here. Hey, netherite upgrade. I forgot about those bad boys. Yeah, okay. Very good, very good. Little bit of soul speed one. Little bit of a golden carrot supply. Don't mind if I do. Might as well take those. Might as well take those and those and those. Uh, the rest of it is all kind of meh. As nice as having a bit of gold armor on is, in terms of, you know, becoming invisible to the regular piglins, yeah, we're going to be losing out on quite a bunch of our protection, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go the risky route of not having gold armor. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Wait a second. Okay. I thought I took down all the brutes around here, man. Uh, apparently not. Okay. No, 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 no. Boom. Whoa. We just lost six hearts of health. Wow. That is ludicrous. Those guys have got more health than I first remember. Okay. The fact of the matter, though, is this. We managed to take him down, and now we have a couple more loot chests. And I'm kind of uh, scared. I feel like there might be people above me. Oh, good grief. It's a little baby. No, he's totally fine. He's chill. What's this guy? Quick charge three? Hey. That's not bad, actually. I'll take that. All right. Now then. This, as far as I can tell is one of those magma cube spawner bastions. So we got to be stupidly careful in here. Not only are there a couple of chests in the bottom middle, but I'm pretty sure there's one or two chests dotted around the edge. So yeah, just got to keep our eyes peeled and then I think we'll be all right to go, I guess. Look at it. Look at this place. It's menacing. Right, if I just do 
Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to do. Right, uh, I guess the time has come. It is now time to go at it with the bow and try to defeat literally everybody. Got hoglins dotted around and somewhere around there's going to be a whole bunch more piglin brute. Ah, see? Look at them. They're just roaming around menacingly. Anyone see any chests just yet? Uh... I don't see any, sadly. Okay. Uh, I'm slightly terrified now. Oh, there he is. He's just in a little hole down there. Right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. I'm like, really, I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, he just fell off. What a numpty. He fell off as well. What a double numpty. <laughs> I can hear dudes literally everywhere. Uh, right, what's in here? Let's have a bit of a look. Smithing template. Uh, take that. Take that. Uh, we got ourselves a pig step record. I mean, yeah, why would I not take that? Oh, no. Oh, not the brute over here. Oh, he fell off. Okay, he fell over. <laughs> oh, everybody's sounding really, really annoyed with me right now. Boom. Oh, oh my word. This is scary. This is actually scary. Look at them. Oh, they're all down there. This is how it is, is it? Okay. Right, you need to go bye-byes. You need to go bye-byes. All of you folks down here need to go bye-byes. All right, go on. Off you go. Um, this guy down here could also do with going bye-byes. Right. Oh, there's a uh, enchanted crossbow right there. Uh! Stop making noises. For goodness sake, you are freaking me out. Right, now we can pop on up here. Yeah, nice and safe like, yeah, we can pop in here. Spectral arrows, I'm not actually too fussed about those. Uh, okay, we have got quite a lot of stuff already. The thing is, I do have a shulker box, but it involves going into an ender chest and getting it out. Oh boy. Okay, well, I sincerely hope that I don't get absolutely ruined as a result of doing this, but uh, <laughs> we're going to try to put as much stuff away as we possibly can. Only, even if we do die, then, you know, this stuff is still here to just come back to, isn't it? All right, still one or two brutes to go, and then I think we'll just about have this place... About as safe as we can probably make it, barring the magma cubes down there, of course. Alrighty, my friends, I am scared. I'm scared out of my mind here. The longer we leave it, the more magma cubes are going to spawn in, and I don't have the highest amount of bow durability in the entire world. There's still a couple of dudes around here. There's a brute over here, in fact. Oh, dude, that is scary. That is actually scary. Uh, right. We could just go down and break the chests. All right, here we go. That's exactly what we're going to go and do. Boom! Yes! Goodies! Ooh, hello. Got some good stuff right there. Three netherite ingots. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of loot. <laughs> right, do I have time to try and grab myself as many of these gold blocks as humanly possible? That's what I'm going to try and do here. And then we're pretty much just going to fly our way out of here. Where are my firework rockets? Uh, they're right there. Okay, right. Can I just fly my way out of here? I'm actually scared. I'm probably going to die here. Uh, is there like a hole I can get directly out of? Oh! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. That's got to deserve a like, right? That is some great escape stuff going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. If we wanted to, we could upgrade three bits of diamond gear up to netherite in the brand new 1.20 way of having to use the smithing template upgrades. Eh? That's kind of cool. We've got diamond chest plate. We've got these gilded bits of blackstone. Yeah. That's not a bad first bastion. But unfortunately, what we didn't spot in there was the snout armor trim. I guess we're going to have to try and find ourselves another one. So yeah, not too bad, my friends. Not too bad. The first bastion, we only used one health potion. I think that's pretty good going, which means we essentially have five more. And we've still got our little regen kit as well. Okay, here we go. We've got some more chests. Okie dokie, this is where things start getting interesting. There's quite a lot of peeps up there, two of which are brutes. I need to take them down at range, ideally. Yeah! <laughs> 
Right, can we get ourselves over here without too many issues? I'd like to hope so. All we got to do is just sort of uh, break our way up to this place. There's no one here, which is good to see. What have we got here? A diamond spoon. I mean, that's actually kind of cool. I'll take that. <laughs> and in this one... No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, no way. I wasn't expecting to be able to find it that early, man. Wow. Oh, dude. I am absolutely chuffed to bits, man. I can't believe we got it that early. The second bastion. I genuinely thought it would take like five bastions for us to try and actually get ourselves the stout armor trim. But no, two. Two, my friends. Question, do we push it a little bit further? Do we try to explore the remainder of this structure? Those chests up there are not the be-all and end-all of this structure. I believe this is the so-called Hoglin Stable structure. If I was to post myself over here, maybe we'll be able to see what else is going on around here. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hoglin Stables. We've got a Hoglin right there. And, oh man, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Another hoglin right there. There should be a couple or so chests dotted around the place here. Oh, snappers. All right, we found ourselves our first hoglin stables chest. Hey, another netherite upgrade. Don't mind if I do there, buddy. It's times like this, I'm really glad I've got swift sneak. I can just move around pretty much at full walking speed, but while crouching. Hey, buddy. You want to try it, do you? Get wrecked. I'm so glad I've got power five. I'm able to pretty much one-shot most of the piglins. Barring the ones that may have armor on, that is. But still, all in all, doing lots and lots of damage with our power five bow. I'm rather enjoying it. Right, nothing down here. Uh, oh, hello. There was a little someone, someone here. Hey, buddy. You, my good sir, are wrecked. How about you? You're destroyed. You just got one-shotted, son. Yeah, be gone, foul creature. Oh, hey. There's one of these guys. Oh, is he a brute? He is a brute. Oh, that could have been real dangerous. All right, in here we have ourselves. That is just some dreadful loot right there. I mean, probably the most valuable stuff in there, I would argue, is the glowstone. I'd be surprised if there wasn't one more chest around here. So let's get ourselves down to the most dangerous layer. The bottom layer. Oh, boy. Right. <laughs> Oh, I'm expecting bad things here, my friends. There's a brute boy over there. Gotta keep a weather eye on him at all times. We got this little tow rag trying to come round and kill me. Yeah, get wrecked, you stupid brute. Uh, oh, hey, he was guarding a chest. <laughs> oh, well, okay then. Don't mind if I do there, Sonny Jimbo. What do we got? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty decent chest, I'll tell you that. Aside from maybe exploring the caves around here, I think we might just about be all right to call this bastion done and dusted. I don't want to push it too much further, my friends. It's as simple as that. I really don't see a need to push this too much further. Oh, my word. Interestingly, I see a third bastion on the way back. Oh. A lot of me really wants to see what's in there. But I'm going to play it better safe than sorry. I'm sorry, buds. I just, I want to get back to base. It's as simple as that. I don't want to push it any further. Oh, and there it is. The nether portal. Back to base. <laughs> I can't believe it only took two bastions to find the snout armor trim. Like, honestly, guys, you don't know how happy I am with that. So, how's about a nice, well-deserved sleep to wrap off? the nether exploration. See, because that really didn't take as long as I thought it would, I feel like we haven't had a very full episode so far. So, what do you guys think, eh? Should we try to find ourselves a pillager outpost or two? Try and get ourselves the sentry armor trim? The penultimate one? Make well. Hello there, buddy. Right, how's about we chuck this thing down here right quick. We grab out the snout armor trim and put it in this guy's inventory. There we have it. Look at that, man. Look at all the armor trims. There's so many of them. There's only two left to get, my friends, and we're hopefully going to get the second to last one today. The obvious thing to do would be to upgrade our diamond armor up to netherite. Hey, eh? I mean, just why wouldn't I do that? 
<laughs> so if I was to grab myself out a little bit of wood, we should be able to do this thing relatively easily. We pop into the crafting table, wherever it is, and bada bing bada boom, there's the smoothing table. Man, we are really running out of space to put all of these weird and wonderful crafting stations down. Uh, I'm thinking we could put it down right here, and then the end of chest could go on top. Yeah. All right, my friends, we're actually doing it. This, my friends, is the first ever time in Minecraft 1.20 that I'm upgrading diamond to netherite. There we are. There's the flaming ocean cap, the fast pants, and the explorer's waders. Oh, we're finally back up to netherite. Instead of using a health potion to get ourselves back up to max health, we're just going to consume a couple of suspicious stews. I wonder, we have all of these sort of half-broken diamond shovels. I'm thinking what we could do is a little bit of uh, combining action, maybe to try and get them up to max health and also up to efficiency five. All right, world shaper. There we have it. Beautiful. Pretty much max durability. I mean, barring a couple of pixels. All right, so after emptying our shulker box, we are now ready to get back out into the world. And this time, we're exploring the overworld. <laughs> right, if we're going to do this, though, we need to do this right. Where's our bed? Do we have a spare bed? I mean, I'm pretty darn sure I have a spare bed. There it is. Yeah, I knew we did. All right, we're now going to search for a pillager outpost or two. I hope it doesn't take too many of them for us to get ourselves the sentry armor trim. But the only thing is, you only ever get one chance per structure. You only get one chest per structure, don't you? So we're going to have to try and be extremely lucky here. And um, the thing that I'm most aware of right now is the fact we only have 37 rockets. What if I was to bring the gunpowder with me and then I just pick up a whole bunch of sugar cane sort of along the way? That would probably be a good idea, eh? Check this area out, my friends. It's a dark oak forest or roofed forest, whatever have you. And we appear to have like a giant sort of flatlands area surrounded by mountains. And look at that. There's a bit of a dripstone cave entrance there too. Wow. I wish I'd discovered this earlier. I would have 100% done some building here. I would have probably built in this flatlands area. I mean, look at this area. You could have like bridges connecting the different areas together. <laughs> oh, hey. There's one. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Well, we're going to go and explore this bad boy. Uh, do we by any chance have a lazing here? I mean, I'd like to hope so, but uh, you never know. Right, here we are. Uh, oh, we got ourselves a horn. Um, <laughs> sure, I mean, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, a couple iron golems. Oh, man, are we about to start a war here? Yeah, we are. All right, let's do this thing. All right, we're going to break this open, break this open, break, 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 break. Oh, good sweet lord. Go on, iron golem. Go. Sick him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to do anything. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to let this guy do all the work. And you know what? I'm going to free your buddy as well. Go on. Go on. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, he's going absolutely ham. Look at this dude. Who says we need to do the hard work? All we need to do is break down the big guns. These guys. Oh, nice. There's another one in the same tiger slash mega tiger biome. Okie dokie. Right. What have we got in this one? Let's have a look. Got some wood, got some uh, generic stuff, and just a whole bunch of nothing, really. Got to start picking up some of this here sugarcane as well. Man, we are really going to be clutching at straws in terms of our fireworks supply, aren't we? So, yeah, I sorely regret not setting up a sugarcane farm super early on. It's always one of the first things you should do in your world. Only if you do, then you wouldn't be having the issues I'm having right now with my uh, firework resource supply. <laughs> Oh, dear. Ah, beautiful. Our third one. This one has quite a lot of stuff surrounding it, actually. Wow. All right. Oh, there's a village over there as well. Very nice. Inside this chest, we have... Oh, I grant a total of nothing again. Another horn. What do we got? We've got feel. We've got ponder. I've just realized we haven't actually tried them out to see what kind of different sounds they make. So bear with me just a second. Oh, what does this one sound like? Um, okay, that's an interesting one. 
<laughs> right, what about this one? This one is Ponder. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Love it. All right. Sadly, not a case of third time lucky. Yeah, hate to see it, my friends. What we can do right now, though, is we can sort refuge at this village here for the night. How about a bed for your boy, huh? Get out of there. I need this. There we have it. Sorry, villager. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's just looking at the wall now, just like, oh, mate, he just did that to me. He robbed my bed. Unbelievable behavior. I know, I know. I had my own bed, but, you know. It's there, so. <laughs> oh, hey, a swamp. Huh. Eventually, we're going to need this, aren't we? Because of the upcoming villager trade rebalance. Something that, yes, I have been keeping a weather eye on in the background. I've not actually tried it myself yet. I kind of want to just wait until they've got the finalized trades and rebalancing done first. And then, yeah, we will most definitely be giving it a bit of a go. Look at it. There's plenty of sugar cane around here, my friend. All right. Crafting table down. We just need to make ourselves, what, 39? Let's get 39 of these. And then the rest of them can be used for planting. And then bada bing, bada boom. Firework rockets for days. All right, we're back up to about two stacks. A village that kind of goes into the swamp biome a little bit. Well, that is a rarity. Certainly not something I see very often. There's actually yet another village way over there. Wow. Fourth outpost we are exploring here today, my friends. Here's hoping. Oh, you hate to see it. That's it, isn't it? Our luck has well and truly run out. Ah, we exhausted our luck earlier in the episode, didn't we? Needless to say, I'm not entirely fussed about us getting a laze at this point. Maybe in the future, yeah, we absolutely can go back and get the allays. We have plenty of sources of allays. You know, we had that mansion in the last episode, for crying out loud. Oh my god, more cherry grove. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I do love a good cherry grove biome. Hey, look at that. What's this guy doing on the roof? Wow, this guy really is a sentry, isn't he? Right, you need to go... Uh, bye bye there, good sir. Oh, he has. <laughs> what a dummy. Right, let's see if we can't get inside this chest right quick. What have we got? Still, still, no sign, man. No sign. So we've got field, we've got ponder, we've got seek. Right, seek we haven't got before. Yeah, that's just the traditional pillager raid horn, isn't it? Hello? Beautiful. Right, this is pillager outpost number six. Please. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The sentry armor trim. Two of them. Ah, oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good going, my friends. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What's not so fantastic is just how far out I've had to fly to bleed and well get here. We are now about four and a half thousand blocks away in the X coordinate alone. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. <laughs> So, my friends, here we are. We are home, finally, my friends. All right, first things first. Another drop-off on Bakewell. <laughs> Look at that. We've actually filled them up with unique armor trims. I wish there was one slot additional, though, so we could have the final armor trim in there as well. But never mind, my friends. Never mind. Let's go to sleep. And, my friends, we're going to empty our inventory and do the comment of the day. Before doing the comment of the day, my friends, a well-deserved shout-out once again to Toasted Toad for another $10 donation. Thank you so much, Toad. I really appreciate you a ton, buddy. Today's comment of the day comes from Kreef9461. Watching your LPs as a kid, this really brought me to tears. I miss the old days where any type of Minecraft LP was accepted. Watching repetitive hardcore content just makes me forget just how chill the OGs are. I completely agree with you. I'm sure by now a lot of you folks on this channel know my sentiment towards Minecraft LPs these days in that just sort of traditional LPs are just so few and far between nowadays. There's just not many notable people doing them anymore and it's really kind of sad. And in my opinion, I believe it's because YouTube seemingly does nothing but promote the same sorts of content over and over 
and over again. The amount of true creativity in Minecraft vids nowadays, I feel like has actually gone down a fair amount. And that is because YouTube just doesn't seem to want to take a chance on promoting something different. I just feel like it's always left to the larger YouTubers out there to come up with new trends that everybody else can get on board with. It's so rare, so rare, that a smaller YouTuber gets recognized for starting a new trend or anything like that. At least from what I've seen anyway. There's just not a great deal of creativity left. YouTube just promotes the same sort of stuff over and over again. And it seemingly just pushes other kinds of Minecraft content and Let's Plays just out of the window. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. The sort of style I go for is sort of very ye olde. I mean, it's not as ye olde as, say, uploading 15 to 20 minute unedited, uncut Minecraft Let's Play episodes. But it's still very ye olde in that, you know, I don't make a massive amount of progress per episode. I mean, the amount of progress I do make per episode is certainly more than it once was. But it's not to the point where I can't sort of keep on maintaining it at a fairly alright frequency, right? So, yeah... I don't know. I, I just wish that YouTube, the YouTube sphere, would just take a chance on other types of Minecraft content. There's other great creators out there that just aren't getting as much credit as I feel like they personally deserve. So, yeah. YouTube. Take a chance. Try promoting some other kinds of Minecraft content, eh? But yeah, mini rant over. Sorry, I didn't actually mean for that to go into a rant, but <laughs> you guys know my feelings on Minecraft Let's Plays nowadays. YouTube just doesn't seem to like them anymore, and it sucks. It genuinely, genuinely sucks. And yeah, I know, I know. There's something to be said about, you know, constantly evolving your content to match the new ever-rising bar of standard of video on YouTube nowadays, but... I also believe there's something to be said about sticking to your roots and doing what you enjoy. Rather than just chasing trends, you should be allowed and be able to make a career on YouTube out of doing stuff you just enjoy. Rather than having to chase trends and all that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, anyway, rant over, rant over. I apologize about that, but that is my feelings on the matter, and I'm pretty passionate about it, if you can't tell already. There should always be a place for the old ways. There really, really should. We need to have reminders of the old days. Otherwise, if you can't remember where you've come from, if YouTube can't remember where it came from, then... We're pretty much doomed, aren't we? At the end of the day, history is very, very important, isn't it? So, anyways, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like beneath the video. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And my friends, at this point... There's only one armor trim left. It's the hardest to obtain one, not just in that you have a very low chance of finding it in chest, but also you have to deal with wardens. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to it, my friends. Genuinely, I'm not. But it's part of our season two goals, and I'm gonna get it done, no matter how long it takes. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for all of your continued support. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.